Hey guys, it's James here from E-Bass Guitar and in this third part of the Slap Bass for Beginners series I want to show you how to create the classic slap bass tone. I want to show you a device called the Cell Builder Formula which will help create really great slap bass lines and I also want to show you how to integrate the sexy notes into your slap bass playing too. If this sounds good, make sure you check out this lesson all the way to the end. <music> Hey guys, it's James here from E-Bass Guitar and welcome to the third part of this Slap Bass for Beginners series. So I've had a ton of questions through asking me how to get the quintessential slap bass tone that you hear guys like Marcus Miller have, etc. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. I'm also going to show you a device called the Slap Bass Cell Builder Formula, which helps you build really great slap bass lines, but also simplifies them at the same time. And lastly, I'm going to show you how to add in those sex slap bass notes into your slap bass lines. So just before we get going today, I want you to know that it's a completely free PDF workbook that comes with this lesson. Just click the link in the description below and you can see all of the exercises that we cover today written out in standard notation and tab. And also one last quick announcement before we get going. The Bass Lab Plus, which is my private members training program, now has a completely free 14 day trial. So if you're looking for an easy to understand bass program that doesn't assume you're Jaco Pastorius to begin with, make sure you click the link in the description below. So I've had a bunch of questions through asking me how to go about getting that classic slap bass sound. And there is a trick to doing this. And this is a thing called the smiley face EQ. So you can do this one of two or three different ways. You can either do it on your amplifier, you could do it on a separate EQ pedal, or you could do it using the preamp of your bass guitar if you have an active bass guitar. Thankfully, I have the Marcus Miller Sire bass here, which is set up perfectly to do this. So I'm going to do this on the bass guitar. So what we want to do first of all is make sure our tone control is up on full. I normally roll off a little bit of top, but to get that slap bass sound, I'm going to turn it fully up so we can get so we can get the top end there. Now, to get the bass response in here, what we want to do is turn up the bass control two or three notches. So that's just like that to fill out the bottom end. And we want to do exactly the same again with the top, like that. So you can hear we have lots of bass and lots of top. Now, here's the killer little trick is to scoop out the mids to give us the smiley face. So drop off two or three notches on the mids. And regarding the pickups, I tend to just have both pickups full up to give us that really round sound which comes with that. So let's see what this sounds like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of active mode and take it straight into passive. And you can hear the difference. The great thing about having a switch on your bass to do this is you can switch between finger style, which sounds really good in passive mode, and go to the active mode if you want to play slap bass. So you inherently have two tonal options within the bass if you've got an active and passive switch. So just one more tip before we move on to the slap bass cell formula, and that is to use round wound strings as opposed to flat wound. That will give you that classic slap bass sound and also try a variety of gauges. I used to actually have one bass set up exclusively for slap bass with really light strings because it made that snap and pull really, really simple. So let's move on to the slap bass cell formula now. This is how to build slap bass lines and make them intrinsically simpler at the same time. So what I'm going to do is show you how to work up to this particular bass line. And the slap bass cell formula is all about taking that apart beat by beat. So what I'm going to show you is how to split that into four individual sections that we can build up one by one. So here is the first cell or the first beat. So I'm going to play it very slowly, which is a hammer on. And then I'm going to come back down with a thump and then a pull. So there are four notes that are on each of the 16th notes of the beat. Let's try that again. Speed it up. Do, 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 do. 
So that is beat one or the first cell. Here is the second cell or beat two. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna play G, which is an eighth note like that. And then we're gonna play two sixteenths as snaps and hammer on. So let's put those first two beats together. And then we're gonna put the last or third beat in place, which is literally just an octave, two octave eighth notes. Now let's add in the fourth beat. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to rest for an eighth note, and then we're gonna play two sixteenth notes on the end and just like that, one, one. You might want to add in the first beat of the next bar, which is if we're doing this as a one bar loop, so we could do that might be, in, that might be helpful. Or you could just play them as two notes in isolation. One. So let's put the whole of that line together. One, two, three, four. So don't forget, just take it apart beat by beat and split it into individual cells of three to four notes. And this will make learning slap bass so much more simpler. Don't forget there's the free PDF that comes with this lesson where you see everything written out in standard notation and tab. To finish off this lesson, what I'm gonna do is gonna grab a drum groove and build up each cell one by one. So eventually we get the whole of the riff so you can hear how this works in context. So guys, if you're enjoying this lesson, make sure you check out the Bass Lab Plus over at eebassguitar.com. This is my private members training program. So if you're looking for a step-by-step -step bass guitar program designed for the beginner to intermediate bass player, this has got absolutely everything you need to hit the ground running. There's a link in the description below where you can grab your free 14 day trial. So to wrap up the third part of this bass guitar for beginners series, I wanna show you how to go about adding the sexy notes in your bass lines. And for me, Marcus Miller is an absolute genius at doing this. As I said to you right at the beginning of this series, I much prefer slap bass lessons which have harmony in them. So there's interesting note choices rather than a whole bunch of trickery. And this is gonna show you how to do this. And I'm gonna show you a few different note choices you could add in, especially if you're using the classic box shape. So let's take this bass line that we've already played this lesson. And then on this last two semi quavers or 16 notes at the end of the bar, what I want to do is to actually change those notes. And a couple of other great notes you could try, rather than the flat seven to the octave, we could go for the sixth to the seventh, like that. So let's just try that line in context. The other one we could try using the same two sixteenth notes is to go from the flattened third to the major third like that. So from a B flat to a B natural like that. So And that gives the real classic minor to major, that kind of really synonymous blues sound, which sounds really strong. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play a bar of the one going from the E to the F natural, and then a bar of the one going from the B flat to the B natural, like that. So let's do it. One, two, three, four.
So changing those two pairs of notes is just the tip of the iceberg. To finish off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some drums off and I'm gonna improvise a little bit over this bass line. So you can hear the dramatic effect just changing a few notes can have in your bass lines and how integrating a load of harmony into it can create some really strong musical slap bass guitar lines. So guys, that's the end of today's Slap Bass for Beginners lesson. Don't forget to check out the Bass Lab Plus. There is a link in the description below where you can grab your free 14 day trial. Don't forget, this is a super easy to understand bass program designed especially for the beginner to intermediate bass player. Cheers, I've been James from eBass Guitar and I'll catch you next time.